Good afternoon and welcome to another Coaster Crazy vlog here on YouTube. As you again, you obviously saw by the title, we're back at Dreamland in Margate and it's rammed. We knew it'd be rammed. It's Bank Holiday Friday today, Easter, Easter holidays here in the UK. It's lovely weather today. It's the 19th of April, so I'll get the date right today, and it's 17 degrees. And we're just literally just coming the park. We did the, uh, the little uh, toboggan run first this morning and then we're here all day today park is open till six it's it's uh, five to one in the afternoon now and it's great to be back we've uh, we've been given complimentary wristbands as well by people that we know who work here and we've also been given permission to film on the rides as well with a chest mounted gopros don't use your phones uh, we did actually um, get organized a small behind the scenes tour of the uh, the classic scenic railway this morning but we literally just couldn't get here for that time so sadly we've missed out on that so maybe next time we can get the tour of the scenic something I would really like to do the uh, 1921 wooden coaster oldest coaster in the UK so sad a bit miss, miss that but no we should have a good day today we've got the nine brand new rides if you watched the vlog from last time or even watched other vlogs that have been on youtube recently they've got nine new rides from sam perla they've got a little drop tower just oh i'll show you when we walk around so you've got the drop tower you've got pinball x which is a brand new uh, wild mouse spinning coaster by sam perla um there's this loads so you've got dream catcher that looks really good it's like an enterprise style spinning ride uh, we should get on some good rides today. Like I said, the park is open till six, so we've got, we've got five hours or so here at uh, Dreamland. We've still got some of the classic rides here as well, like the uh, the the, uh, the Ark uh, or the Speed Classic Speedway, as it's called here. It's the Ark at uh, Carter's Dreamland. They've got all these new signs up here everywhere. Uh, I just about to see that there. They've got loads of events on throughout the year, so check out Dreamland's webpage. They've also got the Selector uh, coming later in the year. And if those of you know that I'm into my tattoos, I'm also into ska music and oh, like old mod stuff as well. I've even got like the uh, the mod tattoos on my legs. So yeah, Selector are here at the end of the year. They've got a big stage. It's a beautiful little park as this. Me and Lisa have been a few times now, and every time we've been, it's it's changed. Today is free entry. Um, the free entry is up until May, I think they said, and then you've got to pay to come in. You get your wristband and pay to come in. But today it's free entry, so more of me waffling for three minutes. Let's go and check out some rides here at Dreamland in Margate. Wow, it's busy here today. <laughs> Look at it round here. They got all your refreshments and stuff round here. Really nice park. This is all fake grass. Nice to sit on. It's a beautiful uh, retro park. Obviously, it's one of the oldest parks in the UK as well. We've got this stage area here. Right, I know I just, I just said that we weren't getting this backstage tour of the scenic. Well, the engineers come over and he said, do you want a backstage tour of the scenic? So that's what we're going to do right now. Said it'd be about half an hour's worth. So yeah, the scenic, beautiful ride was uh, fully rebuilt only a few years ago after it got burnt down when the park did close down for a while. Arsonists broke in and set fire to it. Pretty much damaged the whole entire ride. You got the original steam room, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the engine room engine room in there 1921 so we've got to go in there you excited Charlotte yeah yeah hide the code <laughs> here we go this is what I've wanted to do for a long time this is just the motor room oh wow look at that yeah, yeah. Right, this is something you don't get to see every day. That's amazing, is that? It's so nearly a hundred years old, and this is the original one, isn't it? So when the actual ride uh, was destroyed by the fire, this was pretty much the only thing that remained. Uh, obviously, it looks 
a lot newer than it would but they you know they've uh, refreshed it all repainted it all it's the original it's the original one and obviously the motor's probably new as well but it's all belt driven it's amazing absolutely amazing pulls the cable there which pulls the train up the lift hill absolutely really really cool Right, so that was interesting seeing the engine room there get a bit of an information about that right now this is a view you don't see every day uh, yeah we're walking into the shed oh wow look at this it's massive in here there's one of the trains there they don't want to be on camera dave don't want to be on camera <laughs> now i was just telling me before that we were just saying there was five trains originally on the original layout. That's crazy, that. Are these brand new trains? Just prove me wrong. These trains are destroyed with fire, mate. Look at that. Yeah, rebuilt. Absolutely stunning. That's just something you don't see every day. Here's the... Uh, seat where the brakeman sits if you don't know anything about the scenic railway it is it is basically a scenic railway coaster i mean it's no upstop wheels or nothing it literally just sits on this track coasts along and the brakeman sits here this is the beautiful brake all all original uh sorry all sort of rebuilt the crank on it it's beautiful that all machined out and everything Nice that in it Charlotte. Yeah. And all these as well, they're all brand new. Carved, hand carved. So also with the scenic as well, it's not only just a lap bar that you have, there's also seat belts as well. And then they added these side protections. The coaster doesn't need it at all. It's not the most thrilling of coasters out there, but it's just what happens with the self and safety these days. When you're building something like that or rebuilding something like this, it needs to be uh, fully, you know, fully tested as well. So you got all the stuff in here as well. The guy's just showing the uh, how it connects to the wire. Amazing. Some lights and stuff in here. Yeah, beautiful. So here we go, we just had the tour, so we're getting our exclusive ride on the scenic before anyone else even joins the queue. So yeah, don't get this every day, here we go. I'll see you when we set off.
such a beautiful ride. It's lovely and smooth. I would say this is potentially the smoothest wooden coaster in the UK. It's a lot smoother than Wicker Man. <laughs> There it goes. Hi, right, there we go. We just had the uh, exclusive ride on the Scenic Railway. Beautiful 1921 coaster. But technically, I know I've said this in many vlogs before, technically it, it is a brand new coaster. All the wood was completely replaced and it's not even sat on the original uh, footers either. It's actually sat on neoprene pads. And if you don't believe me, I've just been told by the engineer. It's the only thing that's pretty much original now is the uh, is the engine for the uh, for the lift hill. But it's such a beautiful ride. If you've never come and ridden this coaster before, you've got to come out and try it. It's so smooth. It's such a heritage ride. And in uh, 2021, obviously, it's going to be 100 years old. Technically, <laughs> it's still a Grade Two listed structure as well. But it's it's beautiful. You get such a in good interaction with the driver on there, the operator, the brake man. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't have seen it on the vlog, but I actually got to sit on the other train as well and had a picture. So if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, check that out. But yeah, it's been great. Really, really good. It is very, very busy here today, so we might not get many rides on, on the scenic today. Uh, we've got mainly really come to go and check out the other rides. Plus Charlotte's never been here before. So she wants the uh, she wants the credits. But yeah, very good ride on the scenic. Fantastic. As you can see, it's really busy here today at Dreamland. I mean, I'm not surprised to be honest because it's uh, Easter Bank Holiday Friday today. We're all going over to do another credit now. Well, a credit for me anyway. One of the new rides that we came last year, they were still actually building it. It's Pinball X, which is a Zamperla spinning mouse, well, wild spinning mouse. Basically, the same layout as the Revachons. Uh, exactly the same, pretty much same cars and everything. I've never actually done a Zamperla model before. You'll see in a second when I turn around. 
Also, we've got some of the other classic rides here as well. A lot of stuff has been moved around since last time we came. There's some new buildings over there. They've got your giant inflatables over there. Uh, all this is all open as well, this bar up here. You've got the mirror maze just over there. You've got Pendulum, which is one of the new rides there. It goes upside down, you've got the drop tower. There's loads, like I said, nine new rides here at the park. And there's Pinball X. Hopefully we'll get a good spin on this, because I have seen some POVs. It looks a bit slow, if I'm honest. Doesn't look as good as the Revachon models. The queue again for this, really big, really busy. Loads of cars on it. There's two going around, and there's four in the station. So there's six trains on it. Now we're still actually walking around with the engineer who sorted us out with the uh, backstage of the scenic as well. Just down here, it's just a contact that Charlotte and Martin know. He's got to get us in the exit so we get straight on it, which is brilliant. You know, again, I can't thank the park enough for sorting us out. Uh, the hospitality here is, is amazing, really. The queue is massive for this it starts down there and it goes all the way around here and up to the station which is on the other side i have never seen this park this busy before definitely the busiest i've ever seen it okay, okay. <laughs> right here we go Here we go, spin time. Uh, oh. uh. <laughs> that's, that's the spinning. Um, it's not spinning much. There you go, there was an on-ride POV of Pinball X. Uh, all four of us were actually on that ride then. And uh, yeah, to be honest, it's probably one of the least spinniest spinning coasters I've ever been on. As you saw, we didn't really spin at all, um, especially compared to when we was on the Twister at Lightwater Valley only a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's very smooth, I must, must admit, it's definitely one of the smoothest spinning coasters i've ever been on especially this type anyway with this layout um loads of trims on it but one thing i gotta say it looks so pretty it's a beautiful looking coaster with a uh, teal green and the yellow as well and all obviously all the the little cars are done up like what you would find on a, a pinball table uh just to point out again these lights are not flashing it's the FPS on the uh, GoPro, so it's terrible. We keep trying to sort it out, but never mind. But yeah, really good coaster, great addition to the park. Uh, I just said to the one of the operators that, um, yeah, we didn't really get a good spin on it. And she said, really? We get a lot of people coming on, 
coming off saying we're complaining and they got too much spinning but no really good coaster uh, 306 coasters now my coaster counts so I've been on quite a lot now with this European trip we reckon I'm probably getting about 50 coaster credits so yeah that was Pinball X again not the best coaster spinning coaster I've been on but really good addition to the park it looks great it's very fresh I love all this planting as well again they've done so much with the uh, with the landscaping of this park over the past few years I was actually coming uh, I think it was 2015 2016 when we first came here and so much has been added every time we come it's been different and really enjoy it as well get yourself down to dreamland in Margate this summer definitely well worth a visit Last but no means least, if you have any problems, any difficulties, give me universal jazz hand symbols and I'll come out and save you all. Alright, otherwise, have a brilliant time. Again, not only do they have a lot of modern brand new rides here at Dreamland, they have a lot of classic rides as well. One of them here is the Dodgems, pretty much very similar to the one Carter has. Pretty much the same pay box, the same layout, pretty much the same cars as well. And I'm going to get away from there before I get copyrighted. But no, the, uh, the Pinball X does look amazing. There's a lot of other classic rides here, the Cyclone, uh, I think they've still got the Walter, I'm not sure. Um, but they've also got the air race over there as well. Now I was told that um, it's, it's not operating today. Um, can't really tell you why, but um, if you know what happened at uh, Brighton Pier, then that's why that's closed. Nothing, it's not broken or anything, it's just that they're not operating until they uh, sort it out. Uh, also you've got uh, the Dreamcatcher over there as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to the shot tower. The, sorry, the drop tower. I think it's a. I don't think it's a shot tower. I think it just goes up and then turns around a bit and comes down up and down a few times. But now very busy here today. It's great to see Dreamland being busy actually because we've been a few times and it's been very quiet. Uh, they've also got a Zamperla rocking tug over there as well. I'm not really looking forward to Pendulum if I'm not honest. I might not. I might not go on that. <laughs> If you, if you watched the previous videos, I just uploaded the Carter Steam Fair vlog as well. Go and check that out. I had a great time there in Reading. Really nice fair, beautiful machines, absolutely adore that place. And I also uploaded a separate POV from Black Pearl, the inverting pirate ship that's located at Lightwater Valley. That's hilarious. I mean, just my screaming on there alone is worth it, worth a watch. And uh, yeah, we've got plenty of vlogs coming on this trip that we're doing. I can't wait. I don't know where we're going next. We're just following this engineer. He just seems to be showing us around. But yeah, we've got plenty plenty of parks coming up. Um, yeah, I actually forget what most of them are called. We're doing that many. Uh, tomorrow we're actually going to Bagatelle. Then we're doing St. Paul um, Park in France. We've got another smaller park to do in Belgium. I think we're doing Helen Dawn, Slag Harren in the Netherlands. And we're also going over to Germany to do Hansa Park and Heidi Park as well. All a whole week we're doing, coming back to the UK, and then we're going to Flamingo Park again, Dam Church again, and then to uh, Old MacDonald Farm to get the uh, Puppy Power or the Doggy Doggy Dog. I think it's called Doggy Dog Coaster. A little caterpillar with like a dog train on it. So there were some of the other. Zamperla rides in here for the kids, the teacups, the balloons and the little uh, chairs as well, or the seagulls. These screens are everywhere as well, I've noticed. Really opened up this whole area now. It looks so much better than when we came. First time me, we, we came here, there was literally, there was nothing actually here really. It was just still just open land. And then the time we came after that, they put all this landscaping down. It's beautiful here. Margate itself is a nice little town do some good fish and chips as well so I think the next ride for us is going to be this which is Dreamcatcher I've never done one of these before I think they've got I think they've Charlotte they've got one of these at Tato Park in Ireland I think they have yeah I think there's one of these at Tato Park in Ireland again it's made by Zamperla it's basically an, an enterprise ride but <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's like an inverted one. So you sit 
like you would on Nemesis or any inverting coaster and it does this I'll get you some off-ride shots of it um, yeah here we go Right, here we go on Dreamcatcher, the very first time. This is actually a travelling ride. It's actually sat on a trailer. It's amazing. So you, you just hook it up and send it to wherever you want to go. I'm actually looking forward to this. Never been on one of these before. I bet it looks amazing at night time. Sorry if there's any wind noise. It's pretty windy on here, pretty fast. Get some force on it now already. Here we go. Wow. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah. that forceful to be honest it's the same sensation that you get on an enterprise it's really good this wow i'm just amazed how it's just pretty much just sat on a trailer i'm sure you can get a permanent version of this but that was awesome and i bet it looks amazing at night the whole thing is covered in led lights Wow, really good that. Got to get yourself out here to Dreamland, come and ride this. Really enjoyed that. There's the air race just here. There's loads of land out here. You can even expand it even more, get some more rides. The, uh, the future is bright for this park. Yeah, definitely a park to look out for. Amazing that. So we just had a walk over to the uh, the uh, the air race here. Um, yeah, I've just been talking to the engineer. He said it was all right to film it, really, because it's it's totally fine. There's uh, there's actually nothing wrong with this one, but because of the the uh, the accident that happened at Brighton, basically, you've got these seats here. If you've ever seen one of these before, and it's got like an aeroplane style that sits underneath. So basically, you've got these bolts and stuff over there, which have taken off and checked. They're totally fine, it's just obviously uh, for safety reasons um, they don't want the th same thing to happen to the one that happened in Brighton but yeah, all, all, all good things, it should be open again very soon I'm not actually sure what it's called, I think it's called Air Race that's the model anyway um, it's quite funny actually, we've obviously been um, sorted out by the park and some of the staff and the managers We're actually, oh, it's called Air Force, here's a sign for it um, so they've been giving us some inside information about what could be happening to this park it's pretty funny some of the rides have just been listed off that the potentially we're looking into and then not thinking about getting but no seriously the uh the, the the future for this park is really bright again i'm just walking over to the far end of the park the first time i ever came to this park you couldn't even get this far um i just wanted to quickly walk over there's a couple of little rides over here there's the uh, vintage swing boats so anyone <laughs> anyway anyone that did see the uh, black pearl video that was at lightwater valley a lot of comments were saying oh i think that was at so and so i think it was a dreamland it was in fact at dreamland and it was called the mary rose so they got this little um sort of celebration for it really uh, apparently i was just talking to the engineer over there and the mary rose is the most sort of missed ride that they, that they had at this part obviously they rebuilt the scenic railway which was here since 1921 mary rose uh, which was the inverted pirate ship also featured in the only fills in horses episode the jolly jolly boys outing if you ever watched that one but yeah i just noticed it, it was just stood over there talking to the engineer. I said, oh, it used to be the Mary Rock. He said, yeah, 
and I've just spotted this in the background. So I just thought I'd come over and, uh, and show you guys how, how, uh, how cool is that. It's basically a little kids play area. Oh, really uh, interesting to see that. So here we go on the Dreamland drop. Actually took us quite a while to get on this. It's very busy indeed today. It's the busiest I've ever seen this park. The tower is 40 meters high. We have some beautiful views up here. There's a stunning scenic down there. A huge bouncy castle just there in the distance. Wow, the views up here. You got the old caterpillar ride down there, little flat ride, that's not been running for a while. Wow, look at that. We're not even near the top yet, still going up. Sorry if there's any wind, whoa! Yeah, it's lovely. Woo! Yeah, another Zamperla ride here. Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, they added nine new Zamperla rides. Wow, it's pretty good this. Yeah, definitely get something to eat after this. So it's quite a big park actually, there's a lot of space. The like car park is owned by the council, in fact the whole park is owned by the council. So, in the future they might be building rides on there. Yeah, so the uh, Dreamland drop was actually alright actually, it was it's not bad. Uh, family drop tower, anyone can go on there. Uh, plenty of room on the, uh, the hat with the harness, loads of room on there, the little kids can go on there as well. Not sure about the ride height, it doesn't actually say, but they've got like markers next to the rides. It's not really uh, a measurement in height or anything, it's just it's just a just a marker. But yeah, really nice ride was that. Really uh, comfortable, nice and smooth, loads of lovely views, got quite a decent length on there as well. It wasn't bad at all. I'm just so amazed at how busy this park is today. It's a beautiful day. The park is looking amazing. Really good. Probably give the Ferris wheel a go later as well. Have a few more re-rides, get on some others. I'm not sure about Pendulum at all. It's not, not the sort of ride that I like. Obviously, if you saw the uh, Lightwater Valley vlog, I know it's totally different, but still that sensation of spinning around as well. Right up here is a bit of an old zoo. Originally when uh, Dreamland opened back in, uh, oh there you go, 1874, told it was an old park. They actually used to have uh, animals here as well and these are some of the pens that they had. Um, they wouldn't get away with uh, having pens that, that, that size these days now. I mean, they're really small. But yeah, 90, uh, sorry, 1874, it dates back to you know, 1870 here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really old park. Again, if you've never been to Dreamland, come and check it out. Especially with the nice weather like this, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely day out, it really is. It's a bit of a trek for people. Yeah, eating, eating time now, we're at this Caribbean place. Apparently it's very nice. They've got a cred on the side there at all. Oh yeah, lovely. Right, so we just had a quick bite to it. We're going on the Hurricane Jets now. A proper classic, pretty much like the supersonic jets that Carters have got as well. 
This is what I was saying to you about the uh, the height stick. It's actually on the other, on the other side now for the kids. This is the entrance here. But yeah, it's basically they stand on the little platform and it's just a little measuring height stick for it. Quite a good little idea. Uh, bit of a bit of a queue for this one as well. No queue for the rocking tug at all, really. I don't know why we're queuing for this one, but never mind. Who cares? <laughs> rocking tug, good. Rocking tugs are good. Would you? Yeah. Get on the rocking tug. Here we go on the Hurricane Jets. Wasn't that long, long ago, ago when I was already on one of these, actually, last week, wasn't it? At uh, Carter's. Yeah, it's very busy here on Park today. We've waited quite a while for some of the rides. A few of the rides, um, mainly like obviously the uh, Scenic Railway, Pinball X, uh, Dreamcatcher, we got on sort of like through the uh, through the exit. So you pull down on the lever to go up, release to go down. Go on then. Oh, is it even working? Why aren't they going up? Uh, what's happening here? <laughs> not working. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. oh. Ah. You gotta hold it down pretty tight. There we go. There's something I'd, uh, I'm going to mention while I'm on this ride. There was a rumour last year, a friend of mine came um, and yeah, he was he was actually told that he wasn't allowed to bring GoPros into, into the park at all. They've actually changed that rule. You can bring GoPros into the park, but obviously you've got to make sure you ask for permission to film on the rides before you do so. Just wanted to clarify that because there was one reason some people were asking me about coming and if it was all right and it's just what i heard really just somebody said oh yeah gopros were ba even banned so they had to go back to the car and uh, put the put the camera back in the car anyway yeah on the hurricane jets doesn't seem to want to go down much uh sorry going up it's not going up at all now day here at uh, Margate myself <laughs> yeah, obviously you can tell we're by we're on the ferris wheel all four of us are in a gondola yeah, we've got about half an hour left of the park the height we are now is the same height as the uh, the dreamland drop just over there but no it's been a great it's been a great day today really good uh, I just want to say thank you to the park for sorting us out today it's been so nice to meet everyone from the, uh, the the maintenance team, Dave and the Marks as well, the two Marks. Charlotte's nodding at me because I got it right. I didn't get something wrong for a change. But no, it's been it's been amazing today. Um, tomorrow we're actually going to our first European park. We're going to Bagatelle. Um, looking forward to that. It's a few coaster credits there as well. A place I've never been to before. In fact. Some of these parks that we're doing, I've never been to before. We've got a couple of massive fun fairs as well. Yeah. Hello. Wonderful Dreamline staff. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Yeah, all right, Wolf. If you like candy floss, get yourselves to uh, Dreamland in Margate. From that stall just there. Right, you knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing these rides that I don't like. <laughs> I've, already, uh, I've already told the guy next to me I'm going to throw up all over him. I'm, I'm not. No, I was looking like, yeah, it's easy. You get on there, you're like, ah, here we go. Yeah. No, never, never done anything like this before. <laughs> Not long until the park closes, apparently. Apparently the opening a bit later. Oh, wow. Have I gone over yet? Oh, God. Then. Ah! Oh my god! Oh. Woo! oh, it's crazy! Oh, I just clicked in! Oh, thank god for that, it went a bit tighter! Woo! There is word on the street! The Polters Park might be getting something like this for 2020 Tornado Springs. To be honest, I highly doubt that we'll get anything like this. Oh! Straight over. Oh! 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 oh the blood is rushing to my head. Oh! Wow! Oh! Oh! I can see people piss, passing out on this. Oh! Oh! No more! Oh! Oh! Oh my god, that's intense! Oh no, no. I've done it for the viewers. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. Cheers for not chandering. Yeah, it's I'm alright, I'm alright. If you've not subscribed to Coaster Crazy, go and subscribe for stuff like this. Because I do it for you guys, not for my enjoyment. I can't stand rides like this. <laughs> that was actually all right. That was Pendulum at Dreamland in Margate. Right, so there you go. That was uh, Pendulum, the uh, Zamperla, I don't know what the model's called, but it's uh, a puke fest. <laughs> That was actually quite intense. Uh, I've still got the GoPro attached to the uh, chest harness. We're off over to do the scenic railway now because Lisa's not been on it yet. We've, again, we're still with the engineer. He's, he's been very friendly, very helpful. He's a, actually, actually a friend of Charlotte's as well. So it's very nice to actually come to a park where the staff are so willing to help you out, take you to the parks, take you in the um, down the uh, exit, exit queue lines pretty much fast pass as well. Again, we've got the complimentary wristbands. 
uh, from a friend that works here as well. It's been great. We've had a really good day here today at Dreamland. It's been a beautiful day. Great to get the footage as well because a nice day makes the footage a lot more better. Um, I think the highlight ride for me today, other than the scenic, I've been on it before, but the highlight ride for me, definitely Dreamcatcher. That's awesome. Oh, the queue's not too bad for this scenic now. We got it, obviously, we got here this morning, it was all the way down here. And because it only runs on the one train at the same time on the circuit, it takes ages. Loading and unloading as well, takes ages. It's so slow. Love all these new signs that they've got everywhere. Notice that as well. All these new signs. And then you've got the big sign as well. He's just going up. There he is. Uh, he's just going up to say that we're uh, coming back on again. Again, the uh, all the uh, landscaping of the park's beautiful. All these trees and all this grass and stuff. A bit like Toverland, actually. It's very nice, clean and modern. Get yourselves down here. There you go. Uh, that was probably the final ride of the day for us. Uh, it is now 20 past six. We have been told that the park is staying open a little bit later than uh, scheduled. They did say uh, six o'clock closing. It does look like that some of the rides are closing down now, so it won't be too long until the actual park's closed, yeah. Um, Dreamcatcher's finished now. 
the uh, Cyclones finish with now. Pinball X is still going around, the Scenic obviously, got a very small queue but we've had an amazing time here. It's actually one of the best visits we've had actually. I still really like the Frosted Garden event that they do. Uh, we've been a couple of times to that, they didn't actually do it uh, the Christmas just gone. Uh, unfortunately, we missed out. The Halloween events look really good that they do as well. Uh, we haven't been to any, but the one that they had last year looks amazing. Great atmosphere here at night. All the rides have got lights on, all the brand new machines have all got brand new LED packages on it. It's just a fantastic little park. It really is. I mean, yeah, if it's a bit busier, you might be waiting a while for the rides. We could have been still probably waiting for uh, Pinball X if we'd not had the the staff getting us on the uh, uh, the rides a bit earlier. But no, it is a beautiful pile, like I said. Yeah, the the landscaping's amazing. I think the only niggle they probably could do in the future is get rid of this uh, stone stuff on the floor. There's a lot of kids sort of like shuffling their feet along and it's, it's well, it's a lot of places. There isn't any stones, it's all just disappeared. But um, yeah, no, the rest of the park's beautiful. Uh, Mark, <laughs> Mine say stop talking to yourself. There's actually a wooden bench over there. Actually, I'll run over quick. There's a wooden bench here. This is actually made from the old wood from the remaining uh, scenic railway that was burnt down. So this is original wood, original timber from the scenic railway, so I believe. How cool is that? Proper wood. So this part doesn't actually stamp names on it and sell it to people, they, they make something out of it. I think that's really good. Yeah, the uh, the Scenic is a fantastic coaster. It is one of my favourite wooden coasters in the UK. It's not the most thrilling or the most comfortable or anything like that. It's just the heritage of it, the way it looks. It's beautiful, you know, all the wood grains starting to come alive now. Like they planted all the trees in the middle of it and all the landscaping is great. We're actually going to make a move in a minute. Uh, next, tomorrow we're going to uh, Bagatelle in France, a new part for us. Never been there before, really excited for that. So stay tuned, like I said, there's plenty of vlogs coming this uh, coming week. And they'll sort of, I'll try and get a couple on during the week and then whatever in between as well. But no, I hope you've enjoyed this one from Dreamland. If you've never been, come and try it out. Come and give it a visit, it's really nice. Especially like this in a lovely weather. So anyway, don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow the in Instagram page, which is Coaster Crazy Andy. Don't forget to follow my Facebook page, just uh, it's just Coaster Crazy. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.